That was, of course, the Salty family with Be Bold, Be Strong. Well, listen to what Paul had to say here in Ephesians 2, 5. He says, we were made alive with Christ. Even then when we were dead in our trespasses and sins, it is by grace that you have been saved. So here is Paul reminding us about what we were like before we came to know Jesus Christ. We have been made alive alive in Jesus Christ, even though we were once dead in our trespasses and sins. That means we were, no, not, we were not spiritually aware of what God was doing. And in many cases, we didn't even believe in God. But in through a wonderful miracle of new birth, you and I have become alive through Jesus Christ. And it all happened because of the grace of God. If you want to remember a wonderful way to remember grace. Remember this acronym, God's riches at Christ's expense. It was because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross, allowing his body to be broken, his blood to be shed, that you and I are enjoying this wonderful, eternal, and abundant life. And we should be living every day to create, of course, a life of purpose and also a life of grace and legacy. God wants us to have that grace, not only in our lives, but allowing that grace to flow through us to others as well. And the foundation of all this is God's love. Remember, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So remember, once you were away from the Lord, but now you are drawn near to him because of the grace of God. And it is all through what Jesus Christ did on the cross. A little thought for you today. Now we have for you right now the treasured possessions with Let's Say Amen. Amen.